Today, we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da. You Orion. This is standard. Did we finally break roots by throwing a red card into our black green deck with no way to cast it? Hello and welcome back to another day in the arena. It is me, it is CGB, and I know I did roots rather recently, but somebody finally got a top eight placement in an MTGO event with a roots deck and maybe they found the key to the deck. It's Voldaren Thrill Seeker, two copies of this red card in the deck that you can only cast with the tokens you might make off roots. Agatha's Soul Cauldron to exile the Thrill Seeker, turning all of our roots, especially if we have a Tyvar on the battlefield to give their abilities haste, turning all of our roots, the giving them the ability to tap, to sack themselves, to deal damage equal to their power to pew 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 any target. It's it, it's the it solves the biggest problem for me. The biggest problem for the Roots deck has always been, no, it's not temporary lockdown, silence, it is, no questions. It has always been, you can't get removal into the deck. There's too many creatures, like too many spots are taken up by creatures and graveyard to get real removal into the deck. But Thrill Seeker solves that. You get a Thrill Seeker exiled under an Agatha's Soul Cauldron so that all your roots have the ability and you can shoot down the opponent's stuff. You can also just go face. Going face with this deck is very, very effective. There's also a sweet combo. Thrill Seeker, Souls of the Lost, for a big fling at the face for you Timmies in there. And yes, this deck did top eight a competitive MTGO event, but does it best of one? That is a question I actually like. So I, we're going to answer it today by uh, playing the classic mythic best of one and uh, seeing how our little thrill seeking root friends do. The combo quite simply, get a thrill seeker into the graveyard in some manner. You can mill it with a butler. You can mill it with a jubilant brawler. You can mill it with a seed of hope. And then after that, you want to exile it under an egg of the soul cauldron. And you want to have a roots in place so that you start making a bunch of creatures with a bunch of plus one plus one counters that all have the ability, thanks to the cauldron, to fling. And you fling and you fling and they die. Gorgeous. Lovely. Everybody loves a good fling. Hey, before we jump into the video, I want to let you guys know about something I'm doing this weekend. I will be on Drip Shop Live at under a different account, not the account I've been under before. I'm going to visit a local game store here in Michigan, although it's still about an hour and a half, two hour drive away, Modern Explorers Guild. And I will be on their Drip Shop stream hanging out. They are going to be giving away a collector box of Fallout. Uh, so some Fallout Collecty Boosty packs are being given away. And also every single order during that time is getting a box topper from their one free uh world like wizards network store magic 30 <laughs> their magic 30 <laughs> edition they're giving away the cards from it as box toppers with any purchase which is pretty exciting not every day you get such a fine, lovely proxy sent to you in the mail. So if you want to be a part of that, make sure that you RSVP to the stream. I'm going to put a link below. It's like, yeah, like you might win some of that stuff for free. So sounds like a good deal to me. And uh, thank you very much to all of you who show up for the collab. It's been fun getting to interact with the community and also, you know, get a lot of this uh, collector product, get get some giveaways rolling with this channel, something I thought I would never do. But uh, Drip is making it easy and fun. So please come to the stream. It's not a scam. Damn. Not at all. Okay, let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. On the play with Roots. Easy keep. You have to draw the land. And avoid temporary lockdown. Cottage. So it might be Golgari mid-range. We get the land. That's sweet. I think we just set up the roots. I think so. Zibat. But what will they take? I do need to fill the graveyard right now. The Tyvar is what does that. But that's not what they take. Okay. Okay. Tyvar minus just dies to the bat. That's pretty bad. Um, Let's Seed of Hope. Hey, Haywire Might. That's a trigger. Okay. 
Let's draw. Soul Cauldron. Oh, baby. It begins. Is this the Roots deck? It's gonna make it all worthwhile. You always have two bats, right? Oh, okay, Liliana. Whatever. I think we can outgrind that. Liliana plays fair. What about standard is fair? Liliana's still really good against control, though. No creature in the graveyard. Do I go for the Tyvar? Tyvar just dies if I minus here, which is pretty painful. But with good hits, good things could happen. The other thing is I could just play another Roots and get set up. Let's do that. What are they going to do? Make me discard? Ooh, I discard this. Then I have something to get with the, rep with the possession. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll just play second Roots. Let them play Shieldred or whatever. And then see if we can go crazy next turn. Also, keeping the graveyard a little bit clear is good if they have Trespasser here. Okay, interesting. They should probably save that for instant speed. But of course, if they hit a creature, well, it triggers the roots, right? That's why they wait. And they discard a Shieldred. I was right about that. Let's see what we hit with Tyvar. Stick, they have a cut down. This will make a thrilling tale. Berserker? Awesome. Should have played this. I could sacrifice in response to a cut down. But they probably want to hit the roots, right? And the roots have haste for their abilities. They have potential three mana here. Target creature, gain two life. It was kicked. Another permanent. Ooh. 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 Talk to me, Goose. Ooh. I like this. I like this. Yeah, you cut that down. I got more where that came from. Oh, baby. Triggers. That's sick. Soul Cauldron. Nothing in the graveyard, though, right? Right. Good cast you. Could leave up mana for the Berserker. I mean, do we need a Soul Cauldron? They just put a Shieldred down there. Let's play the Cauldron. No creatures, so right now we can't trigger Roots with it. We're gonna lose the Tyvar, but we have a backup. We can put a counter on one of our creatures. You wanna make me sack? Oh, well, um, yes, uh, I will. <laughs> Pretty cool. You're in the graveyard now. Go for the throat. Okay. <laughs> Gotta use that removal somehow. So, we keep the Berserker to get back with the Tyvar, so we definitely hit. I think we do. Okay, and the trophy. And a land. They knew about this. Millet. There's a thrill seeker. Sure, you can have a counter. That's a trigger. Roots. Red Knight. How much damage can I do with Thrill Seekers? Pretty darn good number, right? Trigger, trigger, trigger. So these all can be sacrificed. So it's 10 damage. Like I can go, 
Use this for mana. <laughs> I can use this and they all sacrifice to fling? I could drop them to two. But that ability is ongoing. We don't have to do it now. We can hold. Unbelievable. Now, if this dies, we lose that ability. Kill it. Bang. Nice. Boots are back. Devious cover up. Kill it all and exile something, huh? What would that be? Or 12. Oh, guys, what is it? Is it damage or is it cards? Ah, the age old. Bang. I think. Well, I'm also a Dread Knight. No, they're taking roots, but I... They also get the one from my hand. I draw a card, but I still have the one on the board. I mean, I don't... I, that, that is a play you can make. Dread Knight's still on the menu. Pretty good card. Boom. Put a counter on this. It gains all these sweet abilities. Use the graveyard, make thingy. Counter. Okay. These fling themselves because of the soul cauldron. Can do this all day. Okay, so this creates a trigger. Exile it, leaves the graveyard, makes more plants, gets back Berserker. That then these can fling themselves, this can fling itself, this can fling itself. And that's the game? Wow! What a funny little engine this becomes. Opponent goes first. They are 80%. We have to win. <laughs> if we lose, our rank will never recover from this. I'll try this. I like the combination with Souls of the Lost. and Our lands are tapped, and that's kind of funky, but I think it'll be okay. Our opponent is also into tapped lands. And we need the untapped lands, so we keep. Souls of the Lost. 01 is an additional cost. Discard a card or sacrifice a permanent. Its power is equal to the number of permanent cards in your graveyard. And its toughness is equal to that number. Plus one. I'll just run it out as an 01. Let's see what our opponent does. No, not a mountain. Not that. Terrible. What? They kept a one lander. And the one lander they kept is Evolving Wilds. And the deck is some kind of mono red. Did, did they run Evolving Wilds for deck thinning in Mono Red? Is that what I'm up against here? Okay, we definitely don't want to play this until we've established some things. But this is a good start. I gain three. Your Kumano is trash. Demolition Field. I see. I see. Seed of Hope. Let's see what we get. There's the Roots. We love Roots. Do we play it? I play it. Mono Red can't do anything about this. I... Oh. Their deck is 130 cards. <laughs> I thought this stuff only happened in events. The Pickens in Arena are getting slim, man. The experienced gamers are sick of this. They're bored. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Let's go Mortuary. Let's bin this land, because this is getting silly. Drop the Souls of the Lost. 
discard a card, it'll be the Soul Cauldron. And let's get a counter on it with a Scornblade Berserker. Very large Souls of the Lost versus red mana. Wait, what? Mono... It... What is happening? We can't lose this game. Our rank will probably go to like sub 50. Now I'm stressed. Okay. Uh, Urborg repossession. Actually, let's draw. Actually, better dead than alive. <laughs> Tyvar. That Tyvar is a thing you can get back with the repossession. Let's see what this X gold can do. I don't know what's going on, but if we lose this game, I might become platinum. That's a scorn blade. Trigger. <laughs> Make it bigger. What you got? Well, they got me. They sure got me. Oh my god. What is happening? Okay, opponent. <laughs> uh, I'm going to sack this to draw a card, right? So let's put another counter here. Make another thing. Butla. All right, get me the Berserker. Trigger, 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 we're triggered. I'm definitely triggered. But we definitely also have an engine. So what could go wrong? They, they missed their second land drop. Their deck is 130 cards as of last turn. And they've drawn... I, I don't even know. I Like, what colors do you think they play? They fetched the mountain for a reason, so they could play the Kumano. They didn't play another land. They have a demolition field in there. I don't know what's happening. I'm having prismatic flashbacks, and I'm very uncomfortable because I don't know what's happening, and I might just lose. And we can't let it happen like that again. They'll set off a year of memes. A year of me signing Jenga Taxis like cards. Who's the next Jenga Taxis? Is it Jugen defends the temple? You can't have it. Butler's probably good. Souls of the Lost. Sacrifice a permanent. That is the butler. Because it goes to the graveyard. And then it exiles, which triggers the plants. Which gets me the Might, which destroys the Jugen. Like so. This can untap this that makes mana. This can go, it's a 1-1 one, one here. Three can tap to bring back what? Nothing. Uh, we'll just play a soul cauldron. Okay. No prismatic bridge today. I basically played a game with Sparky. <laughs> Double Maverick means maybe we surveil our way to the roots. Uncastable Thrill Seeker. We'll see about that. Real Seeker Souls of the Lost might just be a one-shot combo of its own. We surveil. Oh, keeps. That's a good turn to play. Might get the opponent, keep him busy. 
Thundown Pass. Gotcha. Can we afford to miss a land here? No. If it's Boros, we cannot. Deathcap Glade, Seed of Hope. Seed of Hope is two cards closer. Let's keep. Just like that. Play the Might as well. Look at my nerdy cards. Don't worry about them. They can't hurt you. No! Okay, not my Dread Knight. Not my Dread Knight. In fact, take the Thrill Seeker. Obviously the best card. Obviously the card I most want to cast. Cast. <laughs> not without roots. I can't cast it. So, is this Angels? Do we have a student of the dojo? There's a one of invasion in that deck. Maybe they're playing more. Maybe they think they help against blue white. I thought they helped against blue white, but I lost most of the games where I cast invasion. So that's why it's just a one of. They took the right card. They're probably a student of the dojo. Um, all right. What do we do? Repossession is useless. Guess we need another land. There is another land. So we'll keep it. Little creatures doing cool little creature things. Angel. Here we go. I think our offensive was short lived. They've got the Giada. No! I want to rumble. I want I want counters on stuff. All right, we don't have that much time, but we do need to draw into the right cards. We need to get deeper into the deck. It's all gonna fall apart so quickly. This deck notably does not do well against flyers at all. And it won't take much life gain to get them out of range of any Souls of the Lost combo, assuming we could ever actually get something like that working. Ooh, Haywire Might's good against that. Okay. Okay. I'm not quite dead. Oh, wait, it's not good against that. Not good against that at all. <laughs> it's a creature. I forget that part of the card all the time. All right, Seed of Hope. Hitting Roots. Never didn't have it. Nope. No such luck. I guess I'll take the land. We have other ways to get creatures out of the yard. Butla. Not good, but the Repossession can get us a Cauldron. This is getting really, really tough, though. If they hit the invasion, the might can exile it. So I'd like to leave mana for that, but there's no attack here that's good. Flying so good. Flying so strong. Was I supposed to attack with a Maverick just to get the trick to potentially get a trigger later? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't think it matters. I think we've gone too long without roots. But I don't know. Is there a combo? Is there something I can pop off with down the line here? Can we get our graveyard big enough for Thrill Seeker stuff? Thrill Seeker Cauldron stuff? We gotta get this out of our hand. That's not easy. At least they're going after invasion. Don't know if they're afraid of something, but that is kind of good for us. They did not gain enough life. Requisitioner? I would not call that a very good addition. Seed of hope. Okay, look me up. Come on, big, big hit. Souls of the Lost. Let's go. 
Then we need repossession. To get the cauldron. Which it can do next turn. Guess we can wait till their turn. I don't know. I guess those things don't matter that much. Butler can get back what? Butler. <laughs> All right, right now they don't gain life from an attack, so we can't block anyway. Let's bring it. No fear, huh? Two, zero, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Up to an eight, nine. They're definitely going to gain life next turn. Killing the array, I don't think matters. Let's do this. Keep trying to find the cards we need. I need. I don't know. I'm not sure what I need. I think we're gonna die no matter what I do. But let's see what happens. Ta-da, lifelink. Ta-da, attack you. I mean, they can pump as well. They definitely don't have to. We go to three. My goodness, I just did not get there this game at all. Like, not even close. It gains a little life, but I don't have enough of it. Like putting out the Soul Cauldron. We can exile a Thrill Seeker, put a token there, but we can't shoot anything. Like, that was just a bad game. Just completely inept deck. Are we supposed to mulligan for roots? I'm not sure. We definitely have to do better. On the play, I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, dig? Yeah, just dig, I guess. Bin everything that's not roots. That's what we learned last time, I think. Uh-oh. I doubt. That means we gotta go fast. So, the interaction point of this deck is their graveyard, which Soul Cauldron is good at, but we don't have Soul Cauldron here, do we? Let's just try to beat him down. See if we can go fast. I know. Our deck is not exactly Picnic Ruiner. Archaeologist. One Nissa in the graveyard. Okay. What you got? You have to stumble a little bit for me. I wonder if I'm just supposed to cast Repossession. No kick. Maybe get the Dread Knight, cast that. I guess that's going faster. Yeah, if we don't draw a Cauldron, I don't think it matters, honestly. I don't think there's... I think the game's already done, but... I guess make them have land drops. Thrill Seeker, we're straw in the deck. Unless we can figure out a way to get in the graveyard, which is Souls of the Lost. So I guess milling is good. There's a cauldron. Cauldron, not bad, but cauldron we need to get back next turn. Could have this on the board to interact with a Virtue, but I don't think they're going to play the Virtue. I think we just have to keep trying to draw the right cards. We can't get Cauldron out unless we use this and have a land drop. There's a land drop. 
see how much they let me do. So the creature, no point to getting this. Resolves, interesting. Big plays. Okay, so what are we looking at? My God, that's so many lands. Actually, we have to hold it, don't we? We're just gonna use this to get it back. Make them have another one, I guess. Maybe they won't see that coming. Haywire Mike can hit the Virtue if they just cast that and pass. Depends what they do with all this mana. Maybe I should run the fetch lands just so I can copy their aftermath analyst abilities. Okay, no Nissa. They just hard cast it. Okay, they got another one. That's bad. Oh, look at those hits, but they still don't have a Nissa. They have Anissa. I mean, okay, you had it all. Wait, no green. No green? Oopsie. Oopsie. Definitely need to do this. that off the field is a two three and it has the abilities of a thrill seeker think 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 and i play roots i don't know the problem with roots we only have one mana left if I can put a counter here, fling that, kill the Nissa in response to an analyst activation, that's good for us. So maybe? But that means Roots doesn't do anything this turn. I don't know, it's sus. It's very close. Wait for the explosion. Yep, there we go. Okay, so. Could put it here and do four, but we just need three. This. Eh? Trixies? Trixie Hobbitses? Another trigger from the exile. Unfortunately, nothing to get back because we exiled the Might. Maybe I should have exiled one of their analysts. I mean, they're going to gain a lot of life and have a lot of land. But if we keep the virtue from happening. I don't know, man. This is so close. All of these have the abilities of a thrill seeker. We don't have a Tyvar to give new tokens haste, though. So we're not the flinging machine we want to be.
No! Stop! Don't do it! Oh man, they can generate so much mana next turn. Gotta find a way to win! Get another one. They've got three mana left. Stop! Here we go. Let's do some nonsense. There's a Maverick. That distributes some plus one, plus one counters. That could be huge. How many triggers can we get? I mean, we can set up to just stop the Nissa again and thwart that thing. Or, but they might just cast this, make enough mana to kill me. Can they do that? Right now I have three mana. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to the face, 10, 11 to the face. If I attack with them, they just block. Let's see if we can get away with something. A little, a little mischief? A little mischief here? I don't suppose you want to take that? Just three. Uh -huh. All right, if we put a counter on it, exile from graveyard, trigger again, then this is four. One point goes over the top. We have one, two, and this is one, twelve, plus five, plus four. It's not enough. It's just not enough. Man, if only we had... Ugh. If only we had a Tyvar. Now, how about... Can they kill me? If they put in seven, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve plus twelve, twenty-four. We're at twenty-five. They would need Anissa on the board. I don't think they can actually kill me here. If they can't kill me, I believe I can say go. I have three mana. I have nine to dome. This can make it 10, 11, 12 to dome. I have to exile a creature from my graveyard, though, for that to work, which I can't currently do. All right, end. Whew. Let's go, team. Okay. That's promising. Yep. Nineteen cards to go. They get no hits. World Souls rage me for seven. X is equal to seven. They're going to put out these lands. They're not going to make any mana because they don't have a Nissa. We could exile one of the lands. I don't think that's what's important here. We could exile the deluge. I don't think that's important either. I think I got him. And I know exiling the lands is really appealing with the Soul Cauldron, but what's important here is that we get counters on our things. Because as long as we have counters, as long as we have plants, baby, we're gonna be okay.
All right, they're at 20. Is our engine good enough to deal 20? We had one more mana, we could steal the Aftermath Analyst's ability. All right, we don't have a card in our graveyard, but we exile a creature from there as we get a counter. So we go hit this, put a counter here and then fling it, I think. Because I want the ability. Okay, 18 damage. No problem, right? Big mana. Big mana, baby. Yes. All right. There's definitely enough damage there. Seven plus five plus four plus three, and then three mana left over to figure out how to trigger roots a few more times. Bang, bang, bang. That is the machine gun that took down the mighty world souls raid. Get ready for March Foil Madness when you order from CoolStuffInc.com. During the month of March, each Magic the Gathering order will receive a free foil, with some lucky customers receiving a foil rare or one of these special promos. Get your orders in now at CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Today's random Cool Kids Club member shout out goes to Adam St. Pierre. Adam, thank you for being a member of the Cool Kids Club. You get early access to videos like these and a random shout out like the one you just received. If that sounds fun to you, getting a head start on the meta, then go ahead and hit join below. It's only $4.99 a month. It's a good deal. What, what, do you, what can you get for five bucks a month anymore? All the streaming services are more than that. Here you get early access to my stuff and you get members only live streams. There's some historic brawl ones. If you like watching me play historic brawl, we build it with a commander from scratch. I've got two of those done now. I enjoyed them. I'll probably do them again. Uh, anyway, this deck, Insidious Thrills. Uh, it's still a roots deck. There are still games where you draw no roots and are sad. There's still a lot of ways for the opponent to interact with you to make you sad. But when it's working, it's its own little engine. It's like you built your own little Rube Goldberg machine, and it's very fun. I think that the Thrill Seeker is a great addition, and it doesn't add to the cost of your deck very much because your mana base is still just black green. You didn't have to get a whole bunch of try lands and put that together, which is usually a bad thing in best of one. Three color decks are very hard to make good in best of one. So uh, sometimes you'll draw the Thrill Seeker and feel bad, but a lot of times this ends up in the graveyard, you get it exiled and you get to have lots of fun. So I'm a fan. This deck is a banger. I think that if you're playing Roots, go to this version. If uh, You know if you're a Roots person. I've put up like three Roots videos on this channel. So if you watch this video to this point, yeah, do this with your Roots deck. Have fun. Just a reminder before I leave that I will be on the Drip Shop live stream for Modern Explorers Guild, uh, and it's uh, gonna be fun. So make sure that you come out to that. We're giving away an entire collector box of Fallout boosters, so you could win one of those, no purchase necessary. Anybody who does make a purchase over the weekend gets a random box topper from a Magic 30 Collector's Edition. Could be a Black Lotus. Totally a Black Lotus. So that'll be a lot of fun. Uh, hit the link below. I'm going to remember to put a link below and you guys can RSVP to that stream. Also, I'll be bringing my tokens. Everybody who buys something or wins something will get signed CGB Shark tokens. So that's going on as well. And if you're in the Midland, Michigan area and you come out that day, I'm doing a meet and greet and I'm playing some commander games with the fans. And uh, so yeah, if you are from the Mitten and you wanna make a trip over there, strongly recommend it. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in the next video. You're cool. Why do you say it all creepy? No question.